Make certain the tape is free of damage and the tape and the object to be measured are both clean. Wrap the tape around the object to be measured. Slide the tape back and forth so the tape is wrapped evenly on the part to be measured. Tighten the tape around the object with 2.25 kg tension for outside diameter tapes. The vernier scale should be just below the gauge scale. Each line on the gauge member represents 0.5 mm, while each line on the vernier scale represents 0.01 mm. Locate the zero on the vernier scale and note the highest value achieved on the gauge scale above it, which is the highest value to the left of the zero. In this example, the value is 508.50 mm. Next, observe the vernier scale's value at the point where it lines up exactly with a marked division line on the gauge scale. In this example, the value is 37. Finally, to obtain the diameter of the object, simply add the two values together. 508.50 plus 0.37 millimeters equals 508.87 millimeters. As a suggestion for checking very large diameters, pieces of masking tape can be used to hold the tape in the proper parallel position. In many applications, magnets can also be used.